Here's number three, guys, in about three minutes. I want to show you guys what I'm doing here. The river's down there, and I'm up on this hill, so I, I got to get through this brush. And I didn't know it was up so high, so. First time fishing in Vancouver. And it's a fun little explore. <laughs> river level can change quickly, use caution. So I'm on the Capilano River. I parked in Cleewick Park. And uh, it's like a Thursday at about 9, 10 a.m. This above me here is the Trans-Canada Highway. A couple things about fishing in Vancouver that are different from Calgary. One is uh, that the river I'm on, there's not a lot of trout. There's some cutthroats, but there's mostly coho salmon. And at this point in the summer, which is uh, June 8th, there might be some juvenile coho that have come into the river system. And that's good because I'm rocking a five weight setup today. That's the only rod that I own currently. So if we hook onto a fish, it might be some, uh, some lightweight or ultra lightweight fly fishing for salmon. Look at this pool. Look at that pool, guys. Sorry, I'm wet waiting. One difference is in Alberta, you can use up to three flies at a time. In BC, you can only use one. So if you've seen any of my past Bow River videos or other videos in Alberta, I'm almost always using two or three flies. So this will be an adjustment, but I feel like it's an adjustment that will make me a better fisherman. So the water's gonna get a bit loud here. I just wanna show you the pool. Here's Capilano. So up here, it turns into a really steep gorge. If you watch other YouTube videos, you can see people fishing off of like rock cliffs and ledges and they're like hauling fish up, you know, multiple meters up onto the rocks. It's pretty insane. So I'm gonna do a little intro for my YouTube channel that's generic. Um, and then I will get set up with a fly and uh, come back to you guys then. I'm pretty excited. This this looks like super fishy water. Um, I don't know how many trout live here. From what I've read from like fishingwithrod.com and some other resources, uh, there's not a lot of cutthroats in here, but when I've seen people fishing up at like the cable pool and stuff on other YouTube videos, you see cutthroat rising for bugs and stuff. So I also might try that in here. I might throw some dry flies because that looks like awesome dry fly water as well. So there's my split shot, about 18 inches down, maybe 20 inches down, green balance leech. Let's get fishing. I just had a fish, a uh, very small fish chase my fly. Yeah, there's trout chasing this, which is great. I just saw about a four inch long trout uh, chasing it as I was uh, jigging it and then letting it settle. All right guys, we tried a streamer for about 10 minutes. We had a couple follows for small fish, but I think maybe it's not the right color. Um, but I'm gonna keep mixing it up because that's what I like to do. I like to experiment and explore. So I'm gonna put on a dry fly. I think I might have seen a, uh, a cutthroat or something, a small fish rise, um, just kind of at the tail end of where the fast water is running. Uh, so I'm gonna throw a dry fly in there. I want this guy to float. Jeez, it looks like I haven't pinched the barb on this hook, guys. So. I thought I had pinched all of these when I bought them. You gotta pinch your barbs, guys. Alright, let's see if we can't get a, a rise. I don't know if 
you guys can see it on the GoPro. But I'm all of a sudden, I think I might have stimulated some uh, some interest in uh, my black elk hair caddis because, oh, I'm falling. Um, down in this fast water, I keep throwing into it and they keep biting. I've had about 10 bites in the last five minutes. So I'm gonna put you guys uh, a little bit closer in case we hook up. My first fish in Vancouver, BC. My first trip out at the Capilano River. It might be a day of little ones. Ah, uh, whatever. So, I, I have one of these nets with has holes like this. That fish just went right through my hole. That's how small it was. It was a little smaller than the last one. But you guys saw me swing them up into my net, so that's all that matters. Let's go get another one. Here's number three guys in about three minutes. Yeah, he's gone, whatever. Let's get another one, that's three. So as you can see, I hooked like, I, I basically landed three fish in the net, um, may have hooked four, and a few fell off in the water, so a pretty, pretty good span of five minutes. Uh, and then the bite fell off a little bit. And I think it's because they've become wise to the fly that I'm using, and so I might actually size down and switch it up a little bit. These tiny fish were chasing this one, and now I put on this. So you can see both like the hook size and the overall silhouette of the fly are are much much different so let's go give this a shot see how it goes all right guys first cast This little guy. Oh no. Poor little fish. He fell in some, uh, that's my bad guys. He, he fell like right in a little pocket. So I hope he's okay. First cast, I got a fish with that uh, small midge, size 20, but I wasn't feeling it after that and I didn't really get any more interest. So I quickly switched up within about three minutes to that smaller size elk hair caddis that was being uh, successful earlier. So, and I've also flipped to the other side of these runs to try to target any fish over here that I uh, haven't seen any of my flies yet, but might be looking for that elk hair caddis.
Alright guys, we got another one of these beautiful fish. There he goes. Oh, we, we got a fish on the, the naked nymphing. <laughs> he's small. He's small, but he's a little better than the others. Is that a... See, what kind of fish is this? Is this a trout? Is this a salmon? All right, okay. It doesn't look like a cutthroat. It had no uh, no red under its jaw, so I don't know. All right, guys, since I'm having so much fun and since Vancouver is close to the United States, I have this, uh, I don't know if you can see that red and blue color inside this fly. It's a smallish fly, so let's go get another fish. First cast. Oh, there he goes. Hey guys, my name is Rosin and this is my fly fishing YouTube channel. So a little bit about me. Uh, I started fly fishing in spring 2020, probably like a lot of other people did. And I started posting my adventures on YouTube. Now it's just over a year later. Um, it's July of 2021. And I just moved to Vancouver with my wife for some professional adventures. Everything moving forward is going to be me fly fishing in urban Vancouver. Something you might find about me is I like chatting in my videos and I like sharing information, especially when it's like public and urban and everyone knows anyway. I tell you where I park, I tell you what flies I'm using, I tell you what techniques I'm using. I'll tell you as much as I can about what I'm learning as I go. And that's just my personality. So if you guys like it, I hope you stick around and we can go on some adventures together. All right guys, take care, bye.